Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Taiba Hasa Kicks.com and today we're going to talk about the Jordan 3 Desert Elephant. Nike's marketing genius has always been put on display. Like lately they've really stuck to the edit uh, to amplify campaign, basically giving people what they want. And this black Desert Elephant 3 is incredible. There is nothing negative I have to say about this sneaker. Again, it reminds you of the black cement trees, the cement print on the overlays on the back and the four and the four foot area has been replaced with that kind of like desert like uh overlays with some cracks in it and this this shoe is incredible there's nothing negative and i think it's a dope sneaker and i bet you like a lot of people are going to go for it but i have good news for you if you're a buyer because you're going to be able to get this shoe for a decent price we're going to talk about that in a little bit but before we do that let's let's kind of look at the shoe real quick so what you have is standard just like the black cement trees black tumble leather on the upper for the most part and then on the eye state you have gray with some perforations there and then your lining is gray tongue and its extension gray red uh, jumpman logo on the on the outside of the tongue and then again those overlays have been replaced with that new desert like uh pattern with some cracks in it white midsole near the from the midsection to the four foot area and then black on the back side your visible air unit and inside the insoles you're gonna see there's like an elephant jumpman logo and then michael jordan of course to kind of tell you what the shoe is all about is the desert elephant on the back side you have your jumpman logo with a uh, air text on the back your pull tabs it's incredible i mean the shoe is just like the black cement three just they, they replace the overlays again incredible shoe there's nothing negative i have to say about this sneaker it's a good pickup and i wish i had the money to get it myself i don't think i'm gonna get it but eventually i might be able to get that now the shoe is gonna cost two hundred dollars and you already came out overseas i guess on the 20 when was that you already came overseas right if i'm not mistaken the official colorway is black rush orange or fossil stone and sail now who's getting the shoe the retailers are gonna be nike us Foot Locker champs Jimmy Jazz, Downtown Locker Room, Finish Line, JD Sport, YCMC, which is Shoe City, and most retailers are going to get it. If you can get access to that, I will have a link for you for other uh, places to get it, notably uh, eBay or StockX. Now we're going to talk about resale because I'm sure this is what everybody's here for. Now you're going to be surprised, guys, because <laughs> if you try and resell this shoe, please, good luck. It ain't going to happen. As you can see on my chart right now, Basically, if you if you sell a size seven, you're gonna sell for like 184. You lose about 45 dollars. If you sell a size seven and a half, you lose 16. If you sell a size eight, you lose 49. If you sell a size eight and a half, you lose 55 dollars. If you sell a size nine, 54. If you sell a size nine and a half, 49. If you sell a size 10, you lose 22. If you sell a size 10 and a half, 33. If you sell a size 20, uh, 11, you lose 25. Size 11 and a half, you lose 17. Size 12 you lose 9, size 12 and a half you lose 5. If you sell a size 13, you lose no money, you make no money. Good news if you're a buyer because there's a, a lot of good things that are happening. Basically, the chart gave you a breakdown of the current like losses per size sold. I'm not going to say earnings because you earn no money. And as you can see, 92% of the sales resulted in a loss. So if you wear size 7 to 12 and a half, you should be happy because the average sale price for a size seven and half, seven to nine and a half is 181 that is 13 percent below the re retail price that means you're going to be making you're going to be saving money if you're a buyer you should be happy because only one shoe actually led to no profit or no losses for the most part the shoe is going to cost about 200 dollars or even less so if you're a buyer be happy if you're a reseller don't try to resell the shoe because you're going to lose some money because size 10 to 13 is selling for $213, which is basically a $1 above the MSRP. The shoe hasn't, hasn't even dropped yet, so you're not going to be making any money if you try and resell this. So for buyers, it's a plus. You should be happy, and I'm happy if you're a buyer. I do think that the shoe is going to probably gain in value within the next 18 months. So if you have money to invest, this should be a good shoe to definitely look out for because that shoe is probably going to be easily going for $300 or even more within the next 18 months. But as far as like now, don't try to resell it because you're not going to make any money on it. So that's all I wanted to say. This is a great looking shoe. The price is good and buyers be happy. Again, I talked about a lot more sneakers this week. I don't have a chance to put it all on YouTube. 
if you want to get access to the new information just check the website i talked about the certified fresh dunk high i also talked about the 12 the stealth that's coming out tomorrow that too is not going to be a good one to resell the reebok dmx og i talked about that also talked about the up tempo volt a lot more sneakers the dunk low graffiti and then the dunk low snake skin wash tail that's a lot of sneakers that i talked about and they also have some new stuff on the legit check uh page or the, uh, or the website again if you like this kind of content please give it a thumbs up like it share it and if you have any questions do go on the website and leave me a comment again thanks for watching this is time for master kicks and stay tuned for more stuff bye